Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The mayor of La Habra says it just might be the geography of the place that creates the tight-knit community there, but then again it just might be the philosophy of the caring community that carries on throughout everything that happens there. With us now is the mayor of La Habra, Rose Espinosa. Pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for being here. You say that volunteerism is what really starts to make the fabric of your community and your city. I do believe that uh, the first thing that comes to mind when I think of La Habra is all the volunteers that contribute their time. And I sometimes tend to believe that it's because we're nestled in between the hills. And at one time it was called La Habra Valley. And it seemed like because of that, people would tend to look for the immediate needs within those hills as we nestled ourselves. And we're a distance away from a freeway. And we have to uh, provide those services and needs that the community has. And there, there from there, evolved the, uh, the, all the volunteer and the nonprofit organizations that exist in our community. How has the volunteerism changed just the nature of your community? What do you think it would be like without people stepping up and above uh, what they need to do to help each other out? Especially in this economy, it would be extremely difficult for any, really any city to survive. With the services that they provide, I, I can guesstimate that there are approximately 70,500 hours that volunteers have provided just alone in, in the previous year. And that would cost, I would think, if we were paying them at minimum wage, over $500,000. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of money that our community saves, but it's a wealth of information that our volunteers learn and get to know each other and interact. And, and that, I think, is the excitement because sometimes people tend to believe that you only can give money, that there's nothing else you can give. But I always say, if I can't give you the money, I can give you my time. You know, a lot of cities, you find people, they're on boards of everything, or the people talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. Uh, why is it you think that uh, in, it's working in your town? And what are some of the ways that you see it actually uh, affecting, uh, coming, working? I believe that it happens because the first thing you do when you're going to, uh, say, the extravaganza, or the Chambers of Commerce Citrus Fair, or the Lions Club Corn Festival is the multitude of volunteers that are throughout the parade, throughout the three days that they have their event. And the first thing you come in contact with is a volunteer. And, and I believe that the people that are there who have never volunteered understand and like the idea, how can I get involved in that? And that's where you feel those weaves of information and relationships and communication and a really, really good feeling that you have. Now we have, you have the Boys and Girls Club that I think people are familiar with, Advance, that uh, takes care of kids in the next stage of their life. And even a really good example that you started, Rosie's Garage. Yes, I started Rosie's Garage and uh, I recall, a, a, and I think that's how these nonprofits begin because you, you're trying to address a need, the Boys and Girls Club, the Chambers of Commerce, the Gary Center, the boy, um, all of these organizations advance, and, and you're trying to address a need. And I recall a gentleman that had told me when I was trying to figure out, how do I help my community? And the one thing that he told me, that he needed, that meant that it would be upon myself to provide what I felt the community needed. And that was the evolution of the Boys and Girls Club, who has been around since, gosh, 99 years. Advance has been around 10 years. The La Harbor Collaborative has been around three years. And it's still coming around where you form organizations that will continue to provide the need, the need throughout the community. Well, Rose Espinosa, thank you for sharing your story with us and hopefully inspiring um, all of us, too, to get busy. Yes, get absolutely. Busy. Get out there and thank get Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. And thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.